Is your love life a dating wasteland? And now you're asking yourself, am I too ugly to date? There are a lot of different reasons why a guy might have trouble in his dating life. And appearance definitely does have an effect, but let's look at some of the other reasons why you might be having some troubles in your dating life, including possibly being too ugly. I'm Eddie Baller and I'm a dating coach and the owner of conqueringwomen.com and I've been coaching men since 2011 to build their confidence and meet the kind of woman they want. And I know it works from thousands of personal experiences as well as watching my clients in field, regardless of their height, age, race, looks, or financial status. So let's jump into it. Some reasons you may not be getting dates besides being ugly. Now, most of the items on this list are related and there may be a lot of crossover. So I might be repeating myself sometimes, but that's just because these things all are connected. Number one, social skills. Social skills are the way we connect with other people. It's the way you talk to them. It's the way you look at them, the way you use your voice, your body language, how you relate to them, how you get them to open up about themselves, how you open up about yourself, how vulnerable you are, a whole bunch of different things go into social skills. And if your social skills are not up to par, that's gonna have a major effect on your dating life as well as friendships and other relationships. I asked a client one time to just go get a glass of water from a couple cute baristas at this coffee shop. And we walked up to the baristas and he asked for a glass of water. His voice was quiet and this is in a very loud cafe. He was looking down, not making strong eye contact and no smile of course, no enthusiasm at all. And the girls basically mirrored his approach, they mirrored the way he was asking. And so his results in this situation were pretty obvious. It was obvious why the girls were not giving him a smile or anything else positive because he wasn't giving it to them first. And I went up there right after and I did the opposite of him. I smiled, I spoke with a loud voice, I had enthusiasm and I tried chatting with these girls and they giggled, they smiled, they made strong eye contact. Everything was completely different. It was just the way I talked to them. Number two, experience. If you feel ugly or you feel down in any other way, you're probably not gonna have a lot of experience talking to girls. And I know a lot of guys will discount um, other factors in dating and they go straight to looks and it's all about the looks. Uh, but if you don't have very much experience, how could you know how to maneuver the dating world? How can you know how to talk to girls if you're not talking to a lot of them and trying to date a lot of them? And this relates to social skills, obviously, because it's gonna build your social skills. The more you talk to people, the more you talk to girls, you're gonna learn how to talk to them properly in a way that makes a connection. Number three is confidence. Confidence basically equals competence. That's not the only factor, but competence is a major factor in confidence. Because if you know how to do something, uh, you don't, you know, you're not going to worry about how to do it because you know how to do it, and you're just going to go and do it. You're going to, you're going to get effective results because of the fact that you know how to do it. And confidence is very attractive to women. If you can have confidence, they will react positively to you. And of course, you're not going to get that without the experience. And you're not going to get the social skills without the experience either. So uh, this is all a chain. And no, talking to a few girls or a handful of girls doesn't count. Right, that's very little experience. You have to talk to a lot more girls to actually learn how to do it properly and to build your confidence doing it. Number four is trying to please everyone. This, this pleasing behavior, this passive kind of behavior is very unattractive to women. If you're trying to please everyone, you're probably gonna please no one, right? Basically, you're not gonna act like a man. You're not gonna be assertive and you're not gonna look out for your own interests first. And you might even put on an act, which is also very unattractive to women. And number five is acting like a servant. If you're the guy who puts together her furniture, drives her around, buys her dinners, and them, she tells you what a great friend you are, uh, the results should be obvious. Where, when you're acting like a servant, when you're not acting like a man and going after what you want, which is not to be her servant, uh, it's very unlikely she's gonna have dating attraction for you. And far too often I find that guys will hang around for a long time with a girl and do these kind of things. And in fact, I've done it too. And it really sucks because you know you end up in uh, no, you know, I was gonna say no man's land, but actually it's no woman's land uh, because you're not gonna get any dates that way. You're not gonna get a girl attracted to you by acting like her servant. So those are some non-looks related things that may be affecting your dating life. But let's jump into the looks part too because it does matter. How to know if I'm too ugly to date. If you have all of the above bases covered and you're really good at all those above uh, factors, then you might be too ugly to date. And it's not just about appearance. Being ugly is about feeling ugly, right? If you feel ugly, like oh, I'm a really unattractive guy, uh, that's not gonna give you a lot of confidence, is it? So it probably means number three is out. And actually it probably means almost the entire list is out because if everything is based on your looks and you're, you're basing everything about your dating life on your looks, you're not gonna have confidence, you're not going to go and try to get the experience so you're not going to develop the social skills and so everything's going to kind of fall apart and so you got to really deal with the looks 
first and then you know move on from there or maybe you're just not keeping up your appearance the way you could and you could actually be a lot more attractive with your current genetics and the way you are right now without getting plastic surgery or anything crazy so with some exceptions you can change your looks dramatically without doing anything particularly dramatic right if you have a crooked nose then yeah that's not going to change because you change your clothes but you're still going to be more attractive and you're going to be more attractive if you get fitter so and that's going to be affected by the way you eat and your exercise and keep in mind you don't have to look perfect nobody looks perfect very few guys who are so attractive that women are just throwing themselves at them most of us uh, even a guy might be considered attractive still has to work for it still has to do stuff still has to go talk to girls and build up their confidence and learn how to talk to them so yes looks do affect dating uh but even more so is the way you think about your looks that's going to affect your dating even more so you could actually kill two birds with one stone and make yourself more attractive physically so women will react to that because they see you and they see you being more attractive and you could also make yourself feel better which will make yourself more confident and that's also going to attract women so there's going to be multiple factors here if you can fix this idea about being ugly so if you feel ugly it's time to upgrade go check out the link in the description or in the comment section below for my blog post on how to get a girlfriend if you're ugly and until next time conquer and win Thank you.